Today we will show you our Q-Switch NDX laser which is FDA Medical CE TGA ISO 13485 approved Q-Switch NDX laser for hyperpigmentation treatment. We got uh, a demo here, it's a banana, you can see with a lot of pigmentation here, freckles also. Okay, for NDX laser, there are two wavelengths, 1064 nanometers, mainly for 32, with black color, brown color, black color, dark color, and also for carbon peeling, skin rejuvenation, like a high hyperpigmentation and uh, and freckles, acne, we all use 10. 64 nanometers well for 532 nanometers it's mainly treat for red brown orange purple and some other light colors to, to removal besides seven five five hundred and thirty two nanometers can also treat for brown spots eight spots okay now we do demo with 1064 for hyperpigmentation on bananas. Okay, Incl increase a little energy here. You can also when we adjust to the energy here, the fluence, which means energy also be changed. Okay, you can see. Okay, frequency, you can adjust from 1 to 5 hertz. We have other models, you can, you can adjust it to 1 to 10 hertz, it's different models. Okay, spot size, we can adjust the spot size here. This is a career imported, 7 joint arm guide, easy and flexible to move lower the whole bed okay this is how to adjust the spot size press in and just to twist it for which you want okay because the spot size on this pigmentation is not too big so we choose we can choose for three to five spot size millimeters and the smaller spot size you can get higher frequency you can see when i adjust the spot size the fluence has been also changed this is energy you will need to refer to the treatment on the symptoms okay now we use spot size 4 and frequency yields 3 hertz energy 390 millijoules 1064 nanometers for hyperpigmentation ready and take the press foot pedal foot pedal also please wear protective goggles before you do treatment okay sorry to better show you how where we do the treatment I will circle the place I would like to treat. Okay, let's treat here. Okay, you can see the spot, the pigment here. Okay, ready? You can see the Handpiece is with a little distance around the pigmentation, the treatment area. You can also adjust the distance to get the best laser energy.
you can see there is a red spot to indicate where you would like to treat with this laser henna piece. So you can easily move to the spot where you want to treat. Okay. Please keep stand by after the treatment for safety concern. And you can see now this is before treatment and this is after treatment. All the pigmentations has been removed. Because the water peel with a lot of water inside it so it shows a little different color if on skin it will it won't be show like this it will just remove the pigmentations and without bleeding it's painless okay this is fda medical c tga approved you can use all over the world for any countries Contact us if you have any questions about this Q-Switch and Diag laser. And if you want to purchase, please also text or call us directly. Thank you. Okay, you can see this is a banana. We just uh, do the pigmentation removal. I was planning to eat it. Now I will show you the inside. This is like our skin. You can see there is no damage. For the deeper skin layer, just only the superficial treatment for pigmentations. No damage for the skin or inside deep skin layer. Okay, now we will do red color tattoo removal with 532 nanometers. It can use for red color, brown color, and also some purple color and some other light colors. Okay, we use this demo on this red color. You can see this is before and ready because we want to treat a large area. So we use the spot size six, a little large. Okay. Wear protective goggles, please. Now start. You can see when I use different distance close to the treatment area, the energy is different. It's, it's very easy to remove the red colors. You can also treat the <coughs> red color eyebrows with seven with five hundred and thirty two nanometers. Easy and convenient for the whole area treatment. Treatment, click standby, then show the demo. Okay, this is after, this is before, this is after. 